Hey folks, Quill18 here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Stellaris. It's the Space Kitties Edition, and we are in several wars. We started war against the Purifiers, and it's going well. We've taken huge swaths of land from them. Um, but then we got declared on from this damn Federation again, who just won't leave me alone. Uh, we're going to try to take a little bit more land over here from these guys, and then go and deal with the Federation. Certainly a little bit risky. But I think it's going to be worthwhile. Station under attack. Station under attack. Which one's the stations under attack message? 56k fleet. That's not a real uh, defense. That's okay. Well, less war exhaustion might be nice. Just, just like universal plus 5% fire rate. Oh, we got to take that. That sounds way too handy to leave B. You're going to go and take care of that. Armies on Lavis Prime. Well, we lost another one. Should be okay. Science ships are still science shipping. And not gaining much, but that's alright. Alright, good. Now you're going to jump to here. And land armies. This is like maximum greed. And the yard chasers are still heading over here. Maximum greed mode. Um, oh, here, this food building. Replace you with the stronghold. And yeah, we're going to need more martial law over here. And we'll add you to the sector as well. Like that. Okay. And balance sector is mostly fine. I assume that's what you're set to. Yeah. Way too many star bases. <clears throat> that's a problem for another day. I, I don't want to tangle with these guys. Because I don't want to lose any more ships than I need to before going after the war that's significantly scarier. I went around with a 56k fleet. I mean, we could just GG out of it, but yeah, I think we'll lose territory this time. I mean, if they come at me here, I'm going to be fine, but not pleased. Okay, invasion is done, that's good. It's weird. Oh, because it, it would be under strength from what I am now. I see. That would put me over my limit. Click reinforce all to start some work. That's going to be okay. Uh, oh, they're probably about to retake this is what they're going to do. I just realized. So I actually should go after them. Well, you know what? Hold on. What do I care if they retake that one system? That makes no difference to me, right? Right. Yeah. They could even go over here. Like it doesn't it doesn't have much of an effect. Huh? Is it? Okay, rivals and things. Sure. So that's the fighting there. At which point you're going to hit the planet. Okay, transport fleet. You're going to go there and land, like, right away. Yeah, you should be fine. Okay, they are coming in here. Did I instantly lose my... Yeah. Oh, this is going to be a lot more painful than I would like. We have the star base helping a little bit. I don't think the yarn chasers can come in here. They'd have to go around. Can you jump? Yeah. Communications. 
Are we receiving communications for real? You know what? I could use a defensive pact. I don't think that's going to help in this current war, but... Okay, just finish this planetary invasion. And then we peace out. So we're going to want these two to make their way back to the wormhole, but probably in a slightly more convenient way after this planet is taken. Okay. So I'm going to piece these guys. I can't see their flag over there. I guess because they don't actually have a planet. So we'll settle for the status quo. And yeah, you guys are going to come through here. And we're going to need to... Take this territory back, but really we're going to have to focus on some of these fleets. They changed the graphics for some of this territory, didn't they? Alright, well, just make your way back over here, and then we'll figure out what we're going to do with you once you get home. Alright, status quo. Too many planets. Right, right, right. So, hang on, where's that? That's over here. Manage the sector. Add, add. I probably go around and add all this, but let's say no. Um, speaking of sectors, you've got tons of minerals. Twenty-five. How come there's? Is it just there's a timer? Oh, multiply by twenty-five percent due to being in a defensive war. Nice. So draining these sectors. Like, obviously we're burning our energy, but I'm going to go ahead and do this to drain the minerals. Okay. Alright, so we have a bunch more minerals now, which actually even gives us enough for the planet killer. But the planet killer is not going to help us win the war. So I guess the question is, do we have anywhere that's got the Titan construction? And I think the answer is no. So that's you. You're a Citadel. Hotkey you to three. It's way over here. Dock ships are cheaper. I'm going to replace you with the Titan Assembly Yard, which is at least cheap. So yeah, building Titan doesn't really help us do things. Way too many star bases. I may want to disband some. Because the upkeep's pretty sick. Um, I can probably go and get rid of this. Guarding the start, the wormhole. Because we've got planets all around here. That's going to be fine. Um, this one here as well is going to get downgraded. Because we do have that. Although, it's not really doing much. So maybe I should just get rid of all of it. This one here as well. It's in the middle of things. I mean, we could make a bunch of money. Oh, you're building battleships there because it was closer at the time. Okay. I guess that's okay. Alright, well, that's that's a start. Science ship, do you actually have anything else to science over here? Uh, yeah. You can come... Oh, you can do this one. Followed by that one. And then way down here, you can do that. Okay, transport fleet. Oh, you can also come through to over here. This is not going to be an easy war. And I can't just... I can't surrender. And getting them to grind down to a white piece will be hard. I don't know. 
Maybe we do build the Colossus so we can just blow up all their stuff and tell them to go screw off. This is Kenjor. So Kenjor Station, I haven't upgraded to a Citadel. And I think I will. It's in my capital. And I'll probably build another Titan Constructor place over here. So we'll have two places that can technically build Titans at opposite ends of our territory, which might be super handy. You're here. I'm going to get you to do the upgrade just because it's been bugging me for a bit. It's the one, one battleship or something that was the wrong class. We're just swapping over, which is going to be fine. We don't have our Dragon Scale yet. So, do we need to move as a pair or not? One of the questions is also, where are my claims? If any. Chai Draconis. And then down here. It doesn't particularly matter. Now, who actually declared the war? Nation of Septoka. These guys? I don't know. I, I don't know if it matters who I hammer in terms of making things easier for me. All right. We're going to start by doing... A little, well, what I should do is actually just focus on hitting the fleets. That's what I need to do. Now, that's 56,000. Can probably reinforce. I can't really... I'm going to jump to here. It's one of the things I have a claim on. Let's go and blow this up. Because why not? And then we can always come down here and clear some of this. But then we're kind of close to some of these other little fleets. You know? Hey, you're chilling here. 12 ground transport troops. I mean, that should be plenty for things. I mean, I could do it just to plan it as well. Accrue some actual occupation score. Do they actually have more attrition than I do, somehow? <clears throat> okay. I'm gonna get you to run over to heal. Cue some reinforcements up. And yeah, if we wait for our, um, our jumps to recharge... Oh, actually, this would be a good time here. Let me jump to you. Because you're super vulnerable. Actually, I suppose I could just do this as well. Get everyone together in case they do reinforce. Just see what we can do here. Ah, uh, they're just going to run. Okay. Still, it's not bad. And then we can run down here and reclaim this territory. I know it's like, there's going to be a fair amount of silence here. It's like, try to work these things out. And try not to screw up too badly and get caught out of position. I could do it. I could send a smaller fleet to do this, but let's do that anyway. And actually, I think what we're going to end up doing is putting some bombard on this guy. I think that'll be good. And again, we'll be ready to pounce on people. I'm going to keep an eye on that fleet there. 63k. And that's without being grouped up with everyone. Oh, we're hitting a transport. That's always fun. Okay. So you're at 160 of 160. This one here...
Can't reinforce. Oh. Oh, you're going to hit 160. I see. And this you're at 160 of 160, but you've got some sort of weird mismatch. Maybe you haven't arrived yet. Uh, we can't really start another fleet. Yeah, this is really like the peak of what we can do, barring some fleet redesigns, which we may have to do for this one. I mean, the last fight war was a raffle stomp, but this... This is pretty huge. We have the defensive pack, right? The Boki over here are involved in this. They're not the strongest, but it's still something in there. Leafs Haven suffers from unrest. Oh, quite a bit of it. Did we ever build that stronghold here? No, I don't think I did. Okay, let's get that under control. Clear some of these things. Dragon scales, 12 months away. And yeah, almost certainly what we're going to have to do is... Now you're heading over there, right? Excellent. Good. Almost certainly what we'll have to do is a, um, a big redesign, a big upgrade period. Oh, you were busy still fighting there. Uh-oh. Computational overclocking. Uh, a researcher managed to isolate the cause behind the recent spikes in their supercomputer CPU clocking frequencies. It appears the artificial general intelligence systems for the units in question would overclock their processing hardware in order to expand their local machine learning algorithms beyond intended capacities. Some of our scientists have expressed considerable excitement towards this unexpected improvement in AI learning behavior, citing the possibility of future recursive self-improvement. Others, however, are concerned that the added CPU load may cause future instabilities and undesired software outcomes. We can't risk future complications or the benefits may outweigh the risks. We could allow it to continue running or say no. Uh, like, I'm assuming all we're doing is sort of delaying the inev inevitable um, AI uh, uprising. Like, right now, we could use... No, we can't risk future complications. Where we're, people are starting to get scared of, of this AI stuff. Uh, hang on a sec. You need to... Oh, are these my ships? Here, go and take care of this stuff. I know you're supposed to, like, be joining someone else. But yeah, go and whack that guy. Proton launchers are done. Resource replicator. Right! Big upkeep, lots of minerals... Okay, neutron launchers. I think this is what people were excited about. Not much shield damage, but more armor and hull. We're gonna grab you. Um, finish this. I would very much like to hit that. If we can, please and thank you. There we go. You're just going to join the laser chasers. The yarn chasers are about to get into a fight over here, which is great. Because it'll be one we'll win easily. Thump, 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 thump. Did it say Hulp's vig vivisected? Should say dissected. If it said vivisected, it's a mistake, but I may have just misheard. A lot of progress towards various techs. Science ship is still doing things. And there's some tech available over here, too, which might turn out to be very handy. Oh, what I keep failing to do is check to see what the heck are these ships packing. A couple of point defense. Laser, rail guns. Okay, so they've got a mix of things. They got the shield and armor penetration with the ion disruptors. Got a good mix of shield and armor. It's not really anything counterable, but man, maybe we don't go with um, a missile type thing. But yeah, we'll be doing a fairly significant redesign of things later on. Um, I guess one of the other questions is like, 
destroyers, corvettes. It's a lot of small ships. And some cruisers, some battleships. Okay, they kind of got a little of everything coming in. They got some more fleets coming in here, and they might reinforce this, but so far, we're far from being in a, in a danger zone with it. Um, you're going to be going over there. And specifically, uh, you're going to be going over here. What? Uh, enter orbit. You can actually just land right away. Especially since there'll be some bombardment by the time you get there. We are once again full of energy, but I'm kind of okay with that. So yeah, they're slowly trying to reinforce, but... Oh, I guess they hit the... The space station got killed here, but... We'll instantly retake it. It's not going to have a chance to rebuild itself, so it'll flip right, right away. Transport fleet, killing that would feel good too. Now, this has got an actual station as well, which is nice. Station's currently disabled. I don't know if we'll have time to do that, but building a bunch of defense platforms over here and just holding Apon might be kind of nice. And you got it. Yeah, it is saying vivisected. Vivisecting is what you do to something that's still alive as opposed to dissected. Vivisected does sound really cool, though. I don't know, maybe it's going to be sort of like like how people misuse, like, decimate and, and penultimate. I mean, misuse. Decimate just means to, like, blow a lot of stuff up right now. That's that's it. That That's the way it goes. The meaning of the word has changed, and that's okay. This happens. I gotta remind myself that, that I gotta breathe sometimes. Um, I kinda wanna jump on these guys, like... ASAPly. I don't suppose you're coming at me, bro, huh? No, but I could just jump. A thousand... I don't think their big death fleet is right here. Yeah. We're gonna take the jump. And then I'm gonna just make sure to right-click this guy. The jump will just be a little faster. I don't know where in the system we jump, actually. No, just there. But it was a lot faster than going to the edge of the system. And then making the trip. We may or may not be able to catch them here. Ah. It'd be disappointing if we didn't. Transport fleet. Why are you asleep? Land. I must have misclicked something at some point. Okay. Nearly there. We'll have to retake Perth as well. Inactive civics. That's true. Time projects. We got debris everywhere. We're trying to catch them. Alright, a little bit of warfare. You are done now, right? Yeah. Um, can I not build this? Oh, it needs to be a citadel to get the iron cannon. I kind of feel like building a bunch of defense platforms first. It was automatically generated, but will not update. You know, it's weird. There. I think that's going to be a good thing for us to do. All right, the yarn chasers over here are now chilled. I am going to run and take Paith over here. Oh, that's our fire rate upgrade. Starbase capacity. Ah, yeah. Citadel Faith is pretty nice, but we actually could use the starbase capacity right now. Um, that's Assault Army specifically. I don't know if that, that affects all of our genetic ones. Yeah, we're going to go do this, and yeah, a fairly big redesign. We'll try to see what we can do with our ships to maximize their their buffness. Okay, there's the 69k fleet. So you are going to run here. Because they might be coming right here. So... Yarn Chasers, I'm actually going to change the plan. You're going to move to here because then you could potentially make a jump to Apon. Any no, in, idea where they're coming? Yeah, they're coming to Apon. Okay. So I don't know how many defense platforms will be set up. 
And I don't remember if we get... Uh, martial law has expired. Yeah, you're fine. Okay, you're here. Good. And you're still coming, right? Yep, you're definitely still coming. Okay. Yarn chasers, jump. This, this is going to be probably the most important fight. <sighs> Titan Hall points, plus 2,000. Wow. Uh, so we don't need Neutronium Armor, because we have better armor. Okay, we will research this. Um, okay. Designs. Oh, you should just have auto-upgrade on. We should actually rename you. This is just the litter box. It makes litter. <laughs> the planet cracker. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, auto upgrade. Yeah, the auto upgrade doesn't stick around unless you like. Blista. Oh no, it's still. I guess because it's just an auto design. I guess it will go and and do the the full thing. Okay, let's start with the Corvette, which has small gamma lasers. Level 1 Space Torpedoes. Yeah, so Space Torpedoes ignore shields. I think this is what people are talking about that's, like, super good. Now, that is tier 1. I don't know if that's super obsolete. Um, average damage over time is 12.57. Damage cooldown accuracy. Tracking is very low. It's just not good at killing small ships. Of course, we can pair that with something like a gamma laser. So hold on, if I go and, let me just cancel this. So right now our average damage is 1847. If I do something like that, our average damage actually goes up. Okay. Swarm, I mean, I don't know with the with the these guys if that makes sense. Now, if our enemy, and I mean, it's going to be too late for this particular fight, if our enemy ends up um, packing missiles, like, we might just want the picket ship. Yeah, so that's too full, but we can do that. And then probably just give you, like, the afterburner. If you more speed. I think that's the sort of thing we're going to go for with these missiles. Again, it can be countered. We know they've got point defense. So, okay. Stellaris torpedoes. Can they be shot down? Torpedoes are individually more difficult to shoot down by point defense. The flip side long cooldown of torpedoes means they come in waves of torpedoes, whereas missiles being constantly shot. They do have a fair amount of point defense. Uh, that's true. People are talking about version 2. Sorry, I, this is not a very good video. Oh, you know what? I have to put a cut in here anyway. So let me go and do my research about this stuff and figure out what kind of comp we want to set up. I'm not feeling like these guys are coming at me with missiles, though. Oh, oh! There's the big fleet. These battleships—they got particle lancers. Oh, they do have their neutron lancers. Damn. Which does less damage against shields. Okay. Now that's got the shield pen, but that doesn't matter. So actually, these guys are all really bad against shields. So. 
Well, that's, I mean, that's one, one civilization, right? One race. Everyone's going to do different stuff. These guys got strike crafts and things. So it looks like we still... You know what? I think we do design these guys at picket ships. Uh, what's the difference? This has got less tracking. I'm betting this is better against torpedoes and flat cannons are better against missiles. This is higher damage. Oh, higher damage but less tracking. Yeah, that's probably the difference. I don't know. Flat cannon's going to be fine. Gamma laser. I do still have to put the cut in there. But yeah, I think that'll be the roll. Something like that. And we will still give you the afterburners. There we go. Well balanced on that. So your idea is to swarm, shoot down things, shoot down incoming fighters and missiles and all that. And that's going to be okay. All right. Let me, let me go and put a cut in here. I will talk about the redesigns in the next episode. Thanks for watching, folks. Bye-bye.